Today I'm showing you guys Trouser Steak, which is one of the most popular add-ons for Meet Your Client. So to get this, go ahead over to their official GitHub page right over here. This will be linked down in the description below. Here we can simply navigate over to the Releases tab where you can download either the latest release or Trouser Steak for whatever version of Minecraft you want. Now, of course, you'll also need the actual Meteor client itself to go along with this. If you don't have it yet or you're not sure where to get it, I will link it down in the description below. Anyways, they've only got 1.21.8 listed here, and I want 1.21.7. So I can head over to their archive where I can find some of these older versions and I can download 1.21.7. Um, if the version you want isn't in here because they only have a very small amount, then like literally every single other version of Meteor Client can be found in my Discord server, link in the description below. Anyways, to use Meteor Client, you do need to have Fabric installed for whatever Minecraft version you're doing it for. In this case, I'm using 1.21.7. If you don't have Fabric yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link it right down in the description below. Anyways, here I've got Meteor Client as well as Trouser Steak in my downloads. And now I can simply place these inside of the mods folder. So to get there, we can press on Windows and R at the same time. And then in the box that pops up, we want to type in App Data. Then hit Enter. And in this location, we want to go into the folder called Roaming, Dot Minecraft, and finally the mods folder. Inside of the mods folder, we can simply drag Meteor Client as well as Trouser Steak. And once we have them both in there, we can close this up open up the Minecraft launcher and launch fabric for 1.21.7 or whatever Minecraft version you chose. Here in Minecraft, you'll note worked if you see Meteor Client as well as Trouser Steak listed in the top right hand side of your screen. Anyways, for right now, I'll just head into a single player world and briefly show you guys how to use this. So here inside of Minecraft, you'll first off notice that it looks exactly like Meteor Client and we can press on the right shift button on our keyboard to open up the clicked UI. This, everything left of my cursor here is the default clicked UI and then all these fatter uh, menus, I guess, they're all from Trouser Steak. As you can see, the Trouser Steak adds Trouser Steak, Trouser Hunting, and Trouser OP slash Creative. So if you guys don't know, Trouser Steak is a Meteor Client add-on that aims basically for maximum grief. Um, so they've got a bunch of griefing utilities, base finders, hunters, um, whatever you can think of, they probably have it. Uh, so yeah, it's as you can see, it adds a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, if you just compare the amount of utilities here to what is in the base Meteor client, I mean, it is so much and it all works as well. So obviously we can just hover above these as well. We'll get a description. We can right click on these for the customization menus. These just look insane to be honest. Apart from the fact that these rows are a little fatter, you really wouldn't notice that these aren't these don't come with the default meet your client. They're integrated perfectly as you can see. They have the customization menus, the descriptions the extensive customization you can even heart them as well or star them i guess whatever you want a trouser steak is incredibly well made and so i can definitely explain uh, why it's one of the most popular meteor client add-ons um probably the most popular meteor client add-on though is something called meteor rejects which actually adds a bunch of like modules that were rejected from the original Meteor client when people asked for them. And if you want to check out that, then I will link it down in the description below as well. It's incredibly cool too. Anyways, uh, for right now, I guess that was basically Trouser Steak. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do of course hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.